Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Good morning. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International in London, United Kingdom. It's a blessing again to come your way with God's word of hope for your day today. This is the day the Lord has made for you. You will rejoice and you will be glad in it. You will not be sad this day. You will not be sorrowful this day. No weapon formed against you shall prosper this day. Every decrease of darkness against you will not work this day. God will give you the upper hand and give you the victory in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to encourage you this morning from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and the verse 9 to 12. It says, this is what the scripture means when it says, No eye has seen, nor ear heard, no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But God has shown these things to us through his Holy Spirit. It was to us that the Holy Spirit has revealed these things. For his Spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we, verse 12, I love verse 12. And we have received God's spirit not the world spirit, so that we can know, that we can understand the wonderful things that God has freely given to us. This morning I came to encourage you if you're a Christian, this is the advantage of the Christian. Something mysterious happens when you give your life to Jesus. The spirit of God comes to indwell your human spirit. And the Bible says of the many functions of the Holy Spirit, one of them is that he reveals to us Things that has never occurred to any man, but they form part of God's great plan for us. There are specific plans for every individual why God brought you into this world. And sometimes the difficulty we are finding in life is because we have not yet checked with the Holy Spirit to reveal to us God's plan for us where we are now. God orders our steps. In fact, the Bible tells us in the book of Acts that the apostle Paul in Acts chapter 16 wanted to go and preach in a place called Bithynia and the Spirit of God stopped him. Now the truth is that the Lord has told us to go everywhere and preach the gospel. There is a difference between the general instruction and a specific instruction. The general instruction is go into all the world, preach the gospel everywhere. Then there's a specific instruction which the Holy Spirit guides. And the Bible says the Spirit of God will guide specifically where in this world you should start the church where you should start that work, where you should do that thing. The Spirit of God revealed it to Paul that not this place. Then the Bible says he wanted to go to another place and the Spirit stopped him. And then God, by his Holy Spirit, revealed to him that they should go to Macedonia. And when they got there, that led to the planting of the church in Philippi. Now what I'm sharing with you is that the Bible says that we have received the Spirit that is of God so that we will know by revelation the things that God has freely given to us. Because it is possible to have something given to you by God but you lack revelation to know that it is yours. In fact, we in the United Kingdom read a story about a man about three or four years ago. It was all over in the news. He had grown up in one of the stately palaces <clears throat> within the realm of the United Kingdom in one of the county, uh, home counties. And the story says that, you know, he's grown up in that house, <clears throat> in that yard. The, the house, the whole palace belongs to one of the aristocrats. And this man had grown in the place. He's the man that works in the yard. You know, they mow the lawn and keep the place clean and all of that. And this he has done for so many years. He's now in his late 40s. And then, one day, somebody told him, you are the son of the man that owns this house. He couldn't believe it. Now, one investigation led to the other, and it turns out, DNA is matching everything. It turns out that his mother was a house help in that place, was one of the servants in the place, who, um, you know, the master of the house uh, got pregnant, but he actually asked her to keep quiet over it and never re accepted responsibility for that. But the, the woman still lived in the place as one of the servants that lived there and she grew up and gave birth to this child who also has now come to take over and is one of the senior servants serving the house in his own father's place. 
The man had died, but the other genuine and legitimate children understood their brother. When all this came out, it became clear he is supposed to be compensated. He is supposed to have some inheritance. Ladies and gentlemen, until somebody reveals to you that you are actually a prince of the palace that you are serving, you will never know. This is the function of the Holy Spirit. There are deep things of God for you in that marriage about your children, about your future, about God's plan for you for this year. The Spirit of God is so real. He doesn't only work in church. He works in the believer. And the Holy Spirit has been given to us that we will know the things that are freely given to us by God. This morning, as you go about your day, I want you to pray that God will reveal to you what is his plan. Some of you, you may be in the wrong place completely. May the Spirit of God lead you. Because sometimes you under peer pressure. You follow the crowd. But the Holy Spirit has a specific instruction. The Bible says there are deep things of God. Deep plans of God. Wonderful things of God that God has planned for those who love Him. But sometimes people can live their whole life and haven't realized it because they are deaf to the voice of the Holy Spirit. There are a lot of radio waves and channels and television networks and signals all over the place. But you won't catch it until you have got a satellite dish in your house that can catch the signals and bring out the signals onto your TV screen. The Spirit of God is like that inside you. Until we pray to Him, until we ask Him, we won't know when I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit in you will become relevant in you. Jesus said when he comes, he will reveal things to come. May you be a Christian that hears from the Spirit of God and the conditions under which we are able to hear him is a lifestyle of holiness, a lifestyle of prayer and fasting, and a lifestyle of reading the Word of God. This creates the right atmosphere in which the Spirit of God speaks to us. You may not hear an audible voice, but he will speak through dreams. He will speak through someone. He will create circumstances by which he will talk to you. One way or the other, as you specifically ask him this day, Spirit of God, reveal to me God's plan for my life this year. For where I am, am I supposed to be there? What is your plan concerning my marriage? What is your plan concerning my career? What is your plan concerning my home? What is your plan concerning my children? What is your plan concerning my life? Lord, reveal it to me. And I tell you, God, in his own sovereign way, knowing how he speaks to all of us, will make all these things known to you. There are some secret things going on around you that you have no idea about. God is about to expose it. There are people who smile with you and their heart is not with you. As you begin to pray, God will deliver you from those wrong associations. God will know by the Spirit of God, He will create circumstances by which you will know. You don't need to know like the way a prophet will pick. God speaks to all of us in different ways. You don't need to be a prophet to hear from God. You need to be a child of God, filled with the Holy Ghost, born again. And when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you become a candidate from hearing from God. This morning, this word is very prophetic to you. You may feel you are lost in the sea of life, but the Spirit of God, the Bible says, we have received the Spirit that is of God. So that, that means this is the purpose that we will know the wonderful things God has freely given to us. This morning, may the Spirit of God impress in your spirit, reveal to you by all the means that God speaks so that you understand what He's prepared you for, what the plan is in the name of Jesus, so you will have a meaning in life and be fulfilled in this life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray the Lord bless you this day and guide your path this day. I pray that all things will turn out well for you. I pray you will not die this day and you will not be bereaved this day. I pray that all things will work together for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. You will come out better and victorious in Jesus' name. Have a blessed, fruitful, and productive day. God bless you, and bye-bye.